Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 8 at Brentford as we follow in Dean Smith's footsteps. And today we have a London derby in the Premier League versus uh, Fulham. And then we are going to West Ham in the FA Cup 5th round. So a big, big episode coming up. Uh, but before that, there's not too much to catch you up on in terms of off-field stuff. The only thing that we've done is we've uh, agreed to ex uh, ex upgrade the data analysis, uh, the data analysis facilities. Um, so we're still really, really lo low down in the in the overall ranking of things there. It's 190 grand, uh, and what that should do is take us up to, uh, well, we have basic, so we'll go to, like, less basic, basically, so, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to make a big difference, but it is, obviously, building up, uh, and going to help the club long term, um, well, let's just get straight to the recap, there's three games to catch you up on, starting with Everton in the Premier League, we went in front when Scott McKenna scored from a tight angle, but Everton equalised early in the second half, and then hit us on the break to go in front moments later, Ferrari played in Hendrickson to draw us level. But Everton capitalised on a weak McKenna back pass to steal the points. So this was disappointing not to take anything from it. Uh, you know, we, we, honestly, we were just too open. It was a very open game. We were too open uh, when, we, when we didn't have the ball. When we did have the ball, we couldn't take our chances. So, uh, in a way, we got what we deserved. McKenna and Hendrickson with the goals... Um, Richarlison got a double thing. You see Pickford played well for them. Uh, Everton went on to win the Carabao Cup as well. So obviously they beat us in the semi-final. They did go on to win it. Um, but yeah, it was an even game. I, but oh, honestly, I, we can't really complain too much. Uh, next game to catch you up on was against uh, Leeds United. We fell behind late in the first half to a cracker. But we pulled level immediately when Diola picked out Palaversa unmarked in the area. Jamie Vardy put us in front before a calamitous own goal sealed the points. So after four games without a win, uh, we finally snapped that uh, against Leeds United, which was a good result for us. Uh, it was an even game. Uh, it was a nice return to form. You can see we did tend to have the better players, though they tended to be the defensive players. Diola at right back is an absolute revelation. Uh, but it was Palo Versa, a Jamie Vardy penalty, and a comical own goal. Um that uh, got the result for us. It was actually deserved. Uh, the match stats maybe don't suggest that, but we were we were the better team, I think, in this one. But uh, maybe 3-1 flats is a little bit. 2-1 may have been a more fair reflection of the game. Last game to catch you up on, we went to Manchester City. Zamburi crossed for Lewis Potter to head us into a second half lead and a huge three points. So a huge result, 1-0 away to Manchester City, the wizard, uh, Lewis Potter with the goal. Now the match stats suggest that we, we sort of were a little bit lucky to get the result here. We really weren't. We were the better team. You can see that from the player ratings. Um, Manchester City had a lot of shots just sort of from distance um, that were, no, were really near the goal. Gunnarsson did play well. Um, so I've got to bear that in mind, but yeah, as you can see from the play ratings, generally we were the better team. Uh, we're really struggling up front. Penarenda and Fico didn't play well on this one. Um, so yeah, that is the concern coming into well, just the rest of the season is we're really struggling to find a, a, a goal scorer. But you can see we've had a nice little uh, recapture of form there after a bit of a dodgy start to the month of February. Quick look at what that means for the league table. And coming into today's game against Fulham, now Fulham are down towards the bottom, just above the relegation zone. Um, coming into this, we have two games in hand. We've sort of played the same amount of games as Everton. We're only three game points back of Forest, uh, four back of Manchester City. Um, so I think I think at this point, Champions League football catching Arsenal is gone. Not that it was ever really something that was realistic, but we are very, very much in this race for Europa League spot. And if we can keep our form... Um, then we're going to be well and truly in that. Let's have a look at what we're doing here against Fulham. We are away from home. They're in poor form. They did win last time out, though. Uh, we've won our last two, obviously. As you can see, there we are, the favourites for this. They are a Lee Bowyer coach team. Uh, always a player I liked on the field, certainly, if not off it. Um, you can see they're an adventurous, direct style of play. Have a quick look at what we're expecting here. This is the same sort of formation that Manchester City came out against us in. Um, we've got Carlos Alina, of course, Leeds United legend uh, in their midfield. Uh, quick look here. We can see they, they look as though they attack in wide areas, but they are very, very compact when they don't have the ball. There's their passing network. 
their key passes as well. They are a direct team, aren't they? Not afraid to hit that early ball forward. And let's have a look at the team that we're sending out. It is, I think, more or less our full strength team at this point. We're sort of experimenting in the front third. Uh, but it's Gunnarsson in goal. It's Thompson, McKenna, Rasic and Bogle at the back four. It's Ghana, it's Baptiste and Palaversa in midfield. It's the wizard, Lewis Potter. It's Zamburic as a winger. And it's Tuazi up top. We just need a striker to score consistently for us. So there we go. We can see they are coming out as expected, which is always uh, always a good thing. Um, what do you want to say to this? Go out there, do it for the fans. We're away from home. Um, so let's do it for the fans then. That's fine. Some calm, we have faith. And then let's get out there, see if we can win a London derby. Now, I think this is a, this would be a West London derby too, I think, isn't it? I think Brentford's West London. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, one thing that did help us is after the Everton game, before the Leeds game, we did have sort of a free week uh, for training. And then again, before the Manchester City game. So that led us, I'm going to cough here, sorry guys, <coughs> uh, that led us to a bit of defensive training, um, and I think that, that definitely played a big part in why we were able to sort of get those back-to-back -back wins. Um, if we can go three in a row here, it would obviously be massive. Sessignon gets in behind us there. Can we get a block in here? I don't like that Fulham has sort of just camped outside our area. They've gone back again. Try and put a little bit more pressure on them. Is that Tyrone Mings in their defense as well? I forgot he was at Fulham now. Ball forward. Traore's there. And Traore sticks it away. And there we go. Well, we come back on YouTube and it's the same old problems, isn't it? Opened at the back. And yeah, that's a really disappointing start to the game. We did okay. Alina with a ball forward. Traore with a good takedown. And there we go. 1-0 to Fulham. Uh, luckily, we do still have a lot of time. It wasn't offside, so we don't need to see how close it was. Um, we do still have a lot of time to recapture the form here. What's going on here? Why aren't we playing? There we go. Uh, here we go. All right. It's an attacking throw. Boggle in for Tuazi. Tuazi crosses in Zemburix there, and Zemburix head up straight over the bar. And it didn't look a particularly difficult header either. We've got another free kick. It looks as though we have responded well to go behind the Wizards. There, back post. Zemburix hit the post now. I think he was offside in any case, but we have reacted well to going behind, so that's a positive. Let's give it a get creative here. We're looking anxious uh, at the back. They've scored from their only shot on goal, and we have more or less, it looks like, dominated the game since then. We've, we've nicked that. The Wizards taking a loose pass. It's there for Tuazi. Can Tuazi finish? He's got a tough angle. Oh, it's a good save from the goalkeeper. I think Tuazi did all he could there. Maybe a little bit more elevation on the shot. Corner comes in. It's headed away. The Wizard's going to pick it up. What can he do? Back down the line, mate. He does. He eventually finds Thompson. Can he get across in? No, he cannot. But the positives here is that we're looking a lot better, aren't we? So let's just try just altering things ever so slightly there. We'll give it a concentrate and see what we can do. We've definitely been the better team. We haven't seen anything from them apart from the goal. Uh, and I think half time it's got to be a case of unlucky, boys. Unlucky. Uh, the Wizards on a booking. Don't get yourself sent off, please, mate. Zamburic has missed a couple of decent chances, hasn't he? Um, we might need to make a change there. We do have Fico and Penarenda. They can both play down that left hand side. So that's maybe something we need to look at. Everybody here that's sort of only playing the 6 6, we will tell them they're not good enough. We do need to see a little bit more. But to be honest, we're not getting much of a reaction out of anybody here. Um, so there we go. Let's try and demand more. That's focus the minds. And let's see if we can go and, and get ourselves a goal now. Zamburic is having a nightmare out there. So let's get Penarenda on uh, to play out there. Baptiste isn't having a good game through the middle. I wonder if we should... It's sort of counterintuitive, but I wonder if we should exploit the middle. Exploit the middle, look for the overlaps. We, the second half, nothing's happening, is it? Do we need to change the way we're playing again? I think maybe we do. It's not working. Uh, all right, so let's go two up top. Um, I'm going to keep the wizard out there as a Roman tour. Yeah, I'm going to try that. And then we can still get Boggle getting forward. And let's see if this has any uh, any effect for us. Uh, that's all fine. We'll counter press them and that all looks good. We've got to stop dropping points to these teams at the bottom of the division though, don't we? 
We've got a free kick here for Fulham. Ferrari to take it forward there to Sessignon. Can we get a foot in here and win this ball back, please, boys? Mings goes out there for McGregor. Ball forward again for Traore. We've been caught out over the top. This time, Gunnarsson's there to make a save. Another ball in. Mitrovic at the back post, and Gunnarsson again is there. The only way they've looked like scoring is hitting us on the break, isn't it? Um... All right, we need to just get rid of players now who aren't playing well. So that's Boggle. We don't really have another option at right back. I don't have uh, Thingo on the bench either, do I? So he has to stay on. Um, Palaversa is not having a good game. Let's get him as an advanced playmaker, please. And Baptiste. Garner's not playing well. Let's get Garner as a deep lying on support. We need to get you forward. And let's see if that works. Um, yeah. Come on, boys. Come on. This is ridiculous. Why can we beat Manchester City away but not Fulham? It's it's last chance saloon now, isn't it? More direct, higher tempo. Uh, get stuck in. High line. Is there something here for us? It's the same old story. We make a silly mistake defensively. We don't have anybody to put chances away. And we've gone and lost to Fulham. Unbelievable. So Fulham win the Battle of Craven Cottage. That is the most annoying result, I think, of the season so far. A poor team and we couldn't beat them. Penarenda's been disgustingly bad this season. Guys, wait right there. We've got the FA Cup next against West Ham. I don't know what to do. All right, welcome back. Let's put that behind us. I really thought we turned the corner after the Leeds and Man City results, but apparently not. We've got some FA Cup football coming up now, though. We are in inconsistent form. West Ham's in woeful form, so no one knows what's going to happen here. Uh, of course, we drew them last episode 2-2. They're the favorites for this one. Before we get to this game, I thought what we should maybe do is have a quick look at, uh, at see how Villa and Walsall, our previous and next club, have uh, been getting on. You can see Walsall, they're still bottom of the championship. They uh, they have picked up a lot. I think they had one point at one stage after about 10 games. So they have picked up. Uh, they are looking absolutely nailed on for relegation, though, unfortunately. Uh, and Steve Bruce, credit to him, he's lifted Villa right up the table with 10 games to play. They're only a point outside of the playoffs. Eight points out of automatic promotion. So he has done a good job there. Credit to him. Um, so that's good to see. So it looks like Villa are probably going to go, it will be in the conversation to go up. Certainly their momentum would suggest that uh, they're headed one way, which is, uh, which is I guess, good. Um, and Walsall, unfortunately for them, despite a recent upturn in form, um, they're looking as though they are going to be headed back down to the champion, sorry, to League One, which is disappointing. Let's have a look at what we've got here. We're up against, uh, obviously, West Ham, as I said. Jose Luis Marti is their manager, um, decent manager. Maybe not the best coach. An attacking standard style of play. We're expecting the same sort of formation that they came out against us in last time. Obviously, they got a little bit of a touch-up from Wolves uh, in the last game. Uh, we can see there they're very, very narrow, very compact. So hopefully, we'll be able to get down the sides of them. Passing network is there and their key passes as well. And this is a team we're sending out. It is all change for the FA Cup. We need to, we've got another sort of rough run of fixtures coming up again now with three games a week. So we're trying to keep things fresh. And putting the strongest team out that we can. So Gunnarsson's going to stay in goal for this one. But it's all changed at the back. It's Mikulic. It's uh, Jack Simpson back again after his broken arm. So he gets to start here with the Bard. And Diola continuing at right wing back. It is Dobson in midfield for us. De Silva and Ferrari in midfield. Mick Paik. We haven't seen much of him yet this season. But he's a very, very talented player. And he's a good dribbler. I'm hoping as an inside forward with also Fico on the other side. Again, a good dribbler. Um, I'm hoping we'll sort of run the, uh, the West Ham back for uh, Ragged, uh, sort of trying to get in the channels there as well if we can. And Hendrickson goes up top. Not sure about an advanced forward with inside forwards. Maybe he sh we should be looking at to play more of a, a target man or someone that, can, that the inside forwards can play off of. Um, but we'll see how we go here, and we can always change things if we need to. So there we go. We can see the way they're lining up as expected, uh, which is always a nice thing. Uh, and let's, what do we say here? Do it for the fans. We're not going to do that again. We're the underdogs. Let's go out there cause an upset. Let's go with that. Um, yeah, I mean, another London derby as well, of course. And here we go. Can we get into the FA Cup quarterfinals? It would be nice if we could. So it's already got to a semi-final, of course, in the Carabao Cup. If we could go and get to another well, quarterfinal, um, that would be nice. And, of course, semi-finals will get us to Wembley in the FA Cup, won't it? Here we go. Felipe Anderson, corner to defend. It's headed away nicely there by Diola. Can we put a bit of pressure on them here and win this ball back? Crossfield pass. 
It's a bit of a panicked one, but Felipe Anderson's going to pick it up. Somebody, boys, go close him down, please. He gets into the penalty area. With no one's really got anywhere near him yet. Edge of the area, and there it is. 1-0. Horrible defending again. Um, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell them. I don't know what to tell them. We looked so good defensively against Manchester City, although they were still creating chances. So maybe it was a little bit of a. There's no one there. There's no one anywhere near him. Look at that. He's at the edge of the penalty area, and there's no one within ten yards of him. Um. All right, another throw for West Ham. Come on, can we get a foot in here, please? We've done well there to win that back. Farai gets it forward early to nobody, though. All right, let's start going back to basics here. Let's take it off expressive. Let's lower this tempo down. Let's take it off work ball into the box. That's probably some good places to start with this, isn't it? Just try and keep it simple, stupids. Come on, can we get a... Stay with your man, mate. You've got a, literally got a man-marking task to stay on him, and it's 2-0. Um, we look at shambles again. I honestly thought we turned the corner and, I mean, we look, oh, this is the worst we've looked yet, isn't it? I mean, it's a decent-ish strike, but there's still no one anywhere near him. Um, when we're closing down, we uh, what can we do? What can we do? Do we just go higher out? Since if they're going to shoot from distance, let's push out a little bit more. Let's demand more. And here we go. Can we get ourselves back in the game? Ferrari with a ball in and Simpson over the bar. Is it one with these where we just need to take some pressure off? Just, are we? I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right, what can we do? What can we do? I mean, it's a cup game for starters, so there's no point so limiting damage. We've just got to go for it. McPake picks that up. Dobson goes forward looking for Diola. He's got a little bit of space. Can he get across into the box? He can. It's there. Fico at the back post. And again, the header just over the bar. Would have been a really good time to get a goal back in first half stoppage time, but it wasn't to be. Um, I really, really can't think what to do here. It's always tough to think too when the camera's rolling, <laughs> but what, what can we do? All right, let's go back to my initial thought of, I'm not sure if with inside forwards, if we need someone a little bit more of in a support role, um, The problem with bringing the wizard on is ideally, I'd like him to be fresh for the next one. Uh, all right, so let's just change the wingers. Let's let's keep let's go pressing forward. Um, a part of me wonders if wing backs is just a little bit too aggressive. Actually, if we if we got wingers now, we don't need wing backs to get forward and provide the width, do we? So we can change that. Um. Yeah. We need an early goal, don't we? Here we go. Can we get it? Farai. He always puts in a decent corner, but this this occasion he's let us down there, and there's no one any... Come on, boys. Come on. It's... Uh... I'm sure I have get stay on your feet on, not jump in two-footed to tackles, but anyway, that's fine. Mikulic is having a nightmare. Let's try a calm down, perhaps... Fico's playing poorly. Penarenda hasn't played well all season. Diolo's got himself a booking. Free kick comes in, and that'll do it. We're getting absolutely torn a new one. Let's change the formation. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. McPate can play in there, so that's fine. Everybody else. We're in absolute shambles all of a sudden. And the worrying thing is that we've, we've looked dodgy at at the back at times this season but we've always had a goal in us and the goals have just completely disappeared 
Probably don't need two of you there, but you've done well to block it coming in. Cross eventually does still come in, and... What is going on? I don't, I don't understand. We did two weeks of defensive training. A week, it was, it's been sort of a week since then. Is that offside, referee? Two weeks of defensive training. You wouldn't know it looking at this. This is just so bad. Fico now on the ball. Back heel there to Mikulic. Can he get across? And he can. It's over towards Diola. He picks it up. Can he get across? He goes to the edge of the area. De Silva's there. It's blocked away. See, boys, that's how you stop a goal going in. Farai may be a little bit unlucky there. We Both teams have had 13 shots on goal. And I don't know if that's... I don't know if that makes it worse, or if at least it's a crumb of comfort. Fico's having a nightmare. Let's get him off. Let's get Panaranda on, see if he can do something. Um, Mikulic is having a nightmare, but I, to be honest, I just want to keep Thompson fresh. This The tie's gone. I don't see too much sense in um, in bringing him on at this point. Here we go with Panaranda. If we could get a goal from him, at least it's something. Hendrickson surely offside. No, it's been given. Well, there we go. Panarenda finally does something useful. A nice ball forward. Let's give him some praise. See if he yeah, builds some confidence. Oh, the guy here's played him on. I still think he's offside, to be honest. But goalkeeper's come out. Hasn't got there. And, well, that, that that's as bad as that's uh, some Brentford defending there, isn't it? How close was this to offside? It's right on the money. It is the guy back here that's, that's played him on. They're overwhelmed by praise. Well, you should be. You don't deserve much of it, to be honest, guys. And, well, last goal wins. Isn't that the new FA Cup rule? I'm sure I read that somewhere. Demand more, boys. Come on. It's been an even game. I mean, it's not been an even game, but it's been an even game. But we've been absolutely torn a new one, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. West Ham get the better of Brentford, guys. That has been a horrible episode. I really do apologize for that. Uh, hit thumbs up anyway, <laughs> please. Um, yeah, I don't understand what... I don't, un I, I don't understand our team sometimes. But there we go. That'll do it for today, as I said. We'll be back next time. Cup football's done for the year, so we'll come back for... Um, Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll come back for Sheffield United and Leeds next time, because I don't think we've seen either of those teams on the on the, sort of yet this season. Then what we might do is we might come back for, say, a Tottenham-Chelsea uh, and kind of see what... You can see we've got a really tough run in with Chelsea, and then we end with uh, Wolves, who are 10th, but then Liverpool and Manchester United, which is just a horrid run of fixtures. So we'll come back for Sheffield United-Leeds, and we can sort of see how the season's playing out from there. We need to recapture our form. And the only good thing about being out of the cup is that our fixtures schedule should slow down a little bit now. Um, obviously, we're going to be working on defense. Yeah, I thought we turned the corner. Take care.